All right, guys, we're back with another update on the DPE, the Diaphragm Performance Engine, and we have a big update today. It just hit 11 watts of power with uh, 6 ounces per inch of torque, which is uh, 11 times more powerful than Tom Stanton's engine, which this is based on, and it's uh, in the same footprint. just has a bit more stroke, as you can see there. Uh, but the, the bore is the same. There's uh, many other improvements, though, to get it to be that powerful in such a small footprint. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the dyno and see what she does. Just a, a beautiful idle. Uh, we can go ahead and see what the maximum pressure it's running right now. Uh, it's running 12 PSI in the combustion chamber. You can see here on the pressure gauge that that's about accurate. It's just above 10 bouncing around. But yeah, that's the max that is sitting there. This down here is that pressure impulse. Uh, so you can see there what's what's going on and so let's go ahead and do a run we're gonna initiate the power run and let's get it Oh yeah, it's a good run. All right, so we're at 7,200 RPMs in four seconds. We got 7.3 ounces per inch of torque, and 11 or 12 watts more than the last run. Oh, I love it. 12 watts even. Awesome. Wow, what a run. So let's talk about it. So we have a, a new since the last video. We have a new lightweight piston. Uh, it's also ribbed, so for her pleasure, but no, also for the smoothness of the uh, cylinder, it has less friction. And if uh, you can tell it's skeletonized, you can straight up see through the engine. And if you can't tell already, that's a TPU 3D printed diaphragm. It is actually, in fact, the same diaphragm that was in the last video that was being compared to this NinjaFlex uh, diaphragm. That is the reinforced one that was blown out at 60 psi in that closed environment. What I've discovered is that you can actually utilize a closed environment where there's no hole in the diaphragm, you, you send compressed air behind it, and it expands to a certain degree with the amount of pressure that you apply. So if you put 60 psi in there, which is what this one had to expand it, it actually created a 28 millimeter stroke for that diaphragm. Whereas the rubber diaphragms, your stroke is determined based on the thickness of it. So this is a one millimeter thick diaphragm, and Tom Stanton uses a half a millimeter thick um, so this gives me a little bit more stroke than the original design already but you can see they wear they wear in there and this is a Viton diaphragm they're very expensive in comparison to that itty bitty little bit of uh, NinjaFlex and Stain Smart TPU that goes into that diaphragm so it's also as we talked about before it has the dynamic valve system it has a two part head with a we haven't talked about this before but it has a retainer that goes over the first valve and these are fluorinated o-rings I used to use silicone or nitrile ones which are the black ones or the clear ones and these are fluorinated so these are meant for rugged you know high high application high uh, endurance application and it, these holes here are for a retainer that goes over it. and you can see it sits a little bit higher and so when the retainer goes on and it gets compressed it actually changes the inside diameter of the o-ring slightly and it allows it to work a little bit better, it grabs that top of the piston a little bit better. And uh, this, it's got a longer stroke, it's got a different rod ratio to increase the dwell time. The head is now 2 cc's, the expansion chamber is 2 cc's roughly, and uh, yeah, it has the pressure impulse port, this is a TPU gasket, lots of crazy stuff going on with this engine, but yeah, we just hit 12 watts. 12 times the power of Tom Stanton's engine. Uh, no disrespect to Tom Stanton though in that regard because his, his engine, to be fair, is built for an aircraft for high efficiency. And while this engine is also still pretty efficient, uh, I definitely wouldn't be able to run on a two liter bottle uh, in the same manner. So, But th that wasn't the point. This point. The point of this was for me to ex uh, understand how an engine works, fully uh, incorporate all of the engine design for real engines, piston driven engines, 
um, you know, dwell time, rod ratio, uh, can, you know, all, all of those factors, stroke and, and bore, and to make an engine as, as raced out as performance as I want, which was high RPM, around 7,000 RPM with, you know, very, very high power, high torque. So, yeah, we achieved that, and we're going to keep going. So, see you next time. Stay tuned.